Practice test. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening section of the test will last approximately 45 minutes. Directions are given for each of the four parts. There is a separate answer sheet for marking answers. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part 1 Directions In this part of the test, you will hear four statements about each picture in your test book. After listening to all four statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of that question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will be spoken only one time and are not printed in your test book. Look at the sample below. Now listen to the four statements A. The woman is using a musical instrument. B. The woman is typing on a computer. C. The woman is playing a video game. D. The woman is standing behind the table. Statement B. The woman is typing on a computer. Best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer B. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. They are playing soccer. B. They are standing in a line. C. They are waiting for a bus. D. They are running in a field. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. The man is drinking coffee from a cup. B. The man is pouring a beverage. C. The table is on top of the cups. D. The coffee is on the table. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. The forest is next to the house. B. There is a gate beside the tall tree. C. The man is walking in the forest. D. There is a fence in front of some trees. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. There is a girl on the railing. B. She is stepping away from the cars. C. She is walking up some steps. D. The girl with the bag is running. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. The youth is using a computer. B. There is a cup on the table. C. The youth is not alone at the table. D. The boy is sleeping at the table. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. They are about to walk between two vehicles. B. They have parked their cars illegally. C. The signs are being changed. D. One of the cars is going to be towed away. Go on to the next page. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. The women are browsing in a garden. B. There are no flowers for sale. C. The flowers are displayed on a cart. D. The flowers are being offered at a discount. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. A. The girl is slamming the door shut. B. The girl is knocking on the wall. C. The girl is knocking on the door. D. The girl cannot open the door by herself. Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. The driver is locking up the bus. B. 
There are a number of passengers on the bus. C. Si. The man has decided not to ride the bus. D. The man is walking alongside the bus. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. The car is being repaired. B. He is repairing his motorcycle. C. The car's tires have a puncture. D. The car has been in an accident. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. In this section, you will hear a question or statement followed by three responses. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Again, each response will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Look at the sample below. You will hear, How are you today? You will also hear, a. I'm fine, thank you. B. It's cold, isn't it? C. Well, it's a difficult issue. The best response to the question, how are you, is choice A. I'm fine, thank you. Therefore, you should choose answer A. Now let us begin part two with question number 11. Number 11. How long are you going to stay? A. At a nearby hotel. B. A day or two at most. C. It's nearly 7 o'clock. Number 12. Is that your briefcase on the stairs? A. It's dangerous to walk through. B. I'm picking him up later. C. I'm not sure whose it is. Thirteen. Are you sure you understand the instructions completely? A. Yes, they are very clear. B. I finished it an hour ago. C. No, please introduce us. Fourteen. Were you able to get some sleep? A. Not enough, I'm afraid. B. Yes, and the same to you. C. I've got to wake up early. Fifteen. Why did they replace the computers? A. They were invented long ago. B. We should buy some new programs. C. The old ones were obsolete. Sixteen. Where is the restroom on this floor? A. It's just across the hall. B. You must be tired. C. There's no job open now. Number 17. What's the best way to get to the main gate of the complex? A. Then I'll follow you. B. The program is too complicated. C. You should ask that man over there. Number 18. Did your insurance cover the operation? A. It paid for most of it. B. The doctor changed her mind. C. I had a quick recovery. Nineteen. Were you able to park near here? A. Yes, there are trees and a fountain. B. No, I had to walk quite a ways. C. This is a wealthy neighborhood. Twenty. I'm so nervous about my interview. A. Yes, it's a terrific idea. B. Yes, because I know I can handle it. C. You'll be fine, don't worry. Twenty-one. Is smoking allowed in this building? A. Only in designated areas. 
B. Otherwise, it's hard to breathe. C. There was a fire here last week. Twenty two. Do we need any office supplies? A. Our printer needs to be repaired. B. We're out of staples and paper. C. We have all the ingredients. Number 23. Is there sales tax on this item? A. Our income has risen this year. B. Yes, it's 7.5%. C. It is being sold too cheaply. Number 24. She has won this award before, hasn't she? A. This is the third year in a row. B. I guess she's out of luck again. C. Surprises aren't good for her. Twenty-five. Will my duties include answering the phone? A. You've got to pick up the clients. B. Only if the receptionist is out. C. Your response is appreciated. Twenty-six. Is this product manufactured domestically? A. No, it is made by machine. B. No, it is imported. C. Yes, but costs are declining. 27. Why was the meeting postponed? A. Everybody got there on time. B. The clocks should be adjusted. C. Not everyone could make it today. 28. Who is in charge of scheduling the clerks? A. It's all done on credit cards. B. The manager takes care of that. C. She's the only accountant on duty. 29. What were the police doing here? A. They were investigating a break-in. B. He was in the military for years. C. The invoice needs to be delivered. 30. Hey, the store is closed. A. Profits will probably increase. B. He doesn't belabor the point. C. The owner had a family emergency. Thirty-one. Does the boss mind if we snack while working? A. She enjoys steak and eggs. B. She doesn't allow it. C. He is about to take his break. Thirty-two. How much should I tip the driver? A. Tipping is not customary here. B. He could use some good advice. C. You shouldn't argue about the fare. 33. Are you an employee here? A. I'll send the documents. B. Actually, I'm the owner. C. I've asked about that before. 34. Do these figures look right to you? A. I've gotten a little out of shape. B. They seem a little high to me. C. There aren't many of us left. 35. Have you booked our flights yet? A. Yes, we're on the first plane out tomorrow. B. The library was closed for repairs. C. No one took them out of the boxes. 36. How did you get that stain on your vest? A. I earned 100 bonus points. B. I spilled some tea at lunch. C. I need it in case it gets cold. 
37. What do I owe you for this coffee? A. Someday I'll pay it back. B. Cream and sugar, please. C. It's on the house. Thirty-eight. When will you be closing? A. In just a few minutes. B. I'll be going on Wednesday or Thursday. C. Nearly twice an hour. Thirty-nine. Why couldn't you have just repaired the thing? A. The damage was too extensive. B. It's not time to renew it. C. It took me a few moments. 40. Could you hand me that hammer? A. It's not cold enough for gloves. B. I was hit by another driver. C. I'm about to use it myself. 3. Directions. In this section of the test, you will hear a number of conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what is said in each conversation. You must select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Each conversation will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Are you being helped, ma'am? No, I'm not. I'd like to speak to a loan officer. Certainly. Just have a seat in the lobby, and one will be with you shortly. Well, I've already been waiting for over 20 minutes. I can't wait much longer. Number 41. Where is this conversation taking place? Number 42. What does the man tell the woman to do? Number 43. How long has the woman been waiting? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. How many weeks of vacation do you get per year? I'm allowed three, but I usually only take one or two. If I were you, I would use all three. Yeah, but I get a bonus for the days I don't take. I can make a lot of extra money. Number 44. How much vacation does the man usually take? Number 45. How much vacation would the woman take? Number 46. Why doesn't the man use all his vacation? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I think you've made a mistake on my check. Oh, is there something there you didn't order? No, actually you forgot to add in our desserts. We had cake, but it isn't listed. Yes, you're right. Thank you for being so honest. Number 47. Where are the man and woman? Number 48. What is the problem? Number 49. Why does the man thank the woman? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Before I can process this, you'll need to show me at least two forms of ID. Here's my driver's license. What else can I use? Anything with your name and current address on it. I'm afraid I don't have anything else on me today. I'll have to do this another day. Number 50. What is the man asking the woman for?
Number 51. What does the woman show the man? Number 52. Why can't the woman finish the process? Go on to the next page. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. What time does the last local news come on? I want to find out tomorrow's weather. You just missed it. It's on from 11 30 to midnight. You mean it's past 12 already? Where did the time go? Well, we didn't get home until after 11, did we? Number 53. What is the time? Number 54. Why does the woman want to see the news? Number 55. Why is the woman surprised? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Sorry, Mom, but the computer is not accepting your card. How can that be? I paid last month's bill. Can you try again? Okay, here goes. Oh, it's fine. That's a relief. Your computer must be faulty. Number 56. What is the woman trying to do? Number 57. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 58. What does the woman think caused the problem? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. How long does it take to get one's passport renewed? You mean by mail? I'd say three weeks to a month. A month? I wonder if there's any way to get it quicker. I doubt it. You'll just have to wait. Number 59. How long does it take to process a passport? Number 60. What does the woman want to do? Number 61. What is the man's opinion? Question 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Let's discuss that situation Monday morning. I'd suggest that we settle the matter by the end of today. No, I'd like a little more time to consider our alternatives. We don't want to be hasty. Okay, but we need to let the client know pretty soon. Number 62. When would the man like to make a decision? Number 63. What does the woman suggest? Number 64. Why does the woman want to make a quick decision? Question 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Did they offer you the accounting job? Yes, but not at the salary I was expecting. I think I'm worth more. You'd better take it anyway. At least it'll pay the rent. I guess so, but I really expected better. Number 65. What did the man get? Number 66. How does the man feel? Number 
What does the woman think? Question 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Have you ever rented an auto with us before? Yes, I have. I rented a minivan here a couple of months ago. And what type of vehicle would you like today? The same again, please. Number 68. Where does the woman work? Number 69. When did the man rent a minivan? Number 70. What would the man like today? Go on to the next page. Part 4. Directions. In this section of the test, you will hear a number of short talks given by a single speaker. Again, you must answer three questions about what is said in each talk. Choose the most appropriate response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Each talk will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following short talk. Welcome to the February meeting of the Ultimate City Council. Our agenda for tonight is as follows. First, there will be a short speech by our Mayor, the Honourable Cathy McPherson, about the recent problems with garbage pickup. Following that, we will vote on the proposal made last week to begin holding two council meetings a month, rather than the current one per week. Finally, after a short break, we will open the floor to comments and questions from the citizens of Altamont. Number 71. What will the mayor talk about? Number 72. What was proposed last week? Number 73. Who will be able to ask questions? Question 74 through 76 refer to the following radio advertisement. Tired of sitting behind that desk day after day, only to pick up that meager paycheck at the end of the month? So was I. That's why I joined the sales team at Jones Insurance. Now, not only do I spend much of my day out of the confines of an office, I also earn what I am worth. If you have experience in sales or are interested in getting the paycheck you deserve, give us a call at Jones Insurance. Number 74. According to the advertisement, what is the speaker's job? Number 75. What did the speaker dislike about her previous job? Number 76. What is an advantage of working for Jones Insurance? Question 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Attention all employees, the National Weather Agency has just announced a blizzard alert for our area. They are currently projecting extremely high winds and up to 18 centimeters of snow over the next five hours. As the safety of our employees is always a prime concern here at Jackson Manufacturing, the decision has been made to cease factory operations at 3 p.m. in order to allow you to get home while the roads are still passable. Anyone living more than 10 miles away is encouraged to clock out at 2 p.m. Everyone, please drive carefully and we'll see you here bright and early Monday morning. Number 77. When do employees need to report to work again? Number 78. 
What is forcing the factory to shut down early? Number 79. When should a worker living more than 10 miles away leave? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following talk. Well, it appears we have a full house today. I'd like to thank you all for signing up for this voluntary training program, and I'm sure you will find it quite helpful as we begin the changeover to the new computer system. Today we will be here for just over an hour, but subsequent sessions will last the scheduled two hours. Now, if you would please open the folders that you were given as you entered the auditorium and take out the yellow sheet. This sheet should have your name, position title and employee number typed in the upper right-hand corner. If any of this information is incorrect, please tell one of the trainers before leaving today. Number 80. What is true of today's training session? Number 81. What is typed on the yellow sheet of paper? Number 82. What should employees do if there is a mistake on the yellow paper? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following instructions. Thank you for purchasing this computer featuring the new Onyx 4.0 operating system. If you are already familiar with the upgraded Onyx system and would like to skip this introduction, press Ctrl F at any time. If you have used earlier versions of Onyx and wish to review some of the innovations in version 4.0, press the spacebar now. If you are a new user and would like to view the full introduction, do nothing and the introduction will begin in 10 seconds. If at any time you would like to pause the introduction, press the backspace key. To return to any section of the introduction, press the backspace key followed by D2. The full introduction will now begin. Number 83. According to what was said, what product has been purchased? Number 84. What should a user do to watch the full introduction? Number 85. How can a user pause the introduction? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following news report. Good evening. This is the CTRV Nightly Business Report. Tonight's top story, Carlton Manufacturing announced today that it will be shutting down all production operations at local plants by March 1st. Speaking with reporters this morning, company spokesperson Grace Kang cited ongoing labor disputes and recent increases in corporate taxes as the reason for the closures. According to Kang, Carlton will maintain current production levels by opening new overseas plants in Brazil and Argentina. As expected, local union leaders reacted with shock and dismay at today's announcement. Number 86. Which of the following was cited as a reason for the closings? Number 87. Who is Grace Kong? Number 88. Where will Carlton Manufacturing build new plants? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following recorded message. You have reached the Department of Motor Vehicles Automated Helpline. As there have been recent changes to our service menu, please listen to all options before making a selection. If you are calling to schedule a driver's test, please press 1. If you would like information on registering a vehicle, press 2. For hours of operation and location, 
please press 3. To speak directly to a representative, press the star key or stay on the line. Number 89. According to the message, what has recently changed? Number 90. What should callers wishing to schedule a driver's test do? Number 91. How many options are there for someone wanting to speak to a representative? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following short talk. Good afternoon and welcome to Frank's Fried Seafood. My name is Elizabeth and I'll be serving you today. Here are our lunch menus and a basket of freshly baked bread. Our special today is grilled salmon with a cream sauce. If you would like to order something from our dinner menu, you certainly may, but be advised that your meal will take longer to prepare. Also, I'm afraid that our soda machine is out of order, so the only cold drinks available are water, lemonade and iced tea. As for beer or wine, I'm sorry, but Frank's does not serve alcoholic beverages. I'll be back in a few moments to take your orders. Number 92 which beverage is temporarily unavailable? Number 93. What does the waitress say about ordering from the dinner menu? Number 94. How many alcoholic beverages are served? Go on to the next page. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Sato. This is Robert Fripp, Explorer Financial Services. We are calling former clients to offer them a very promising investment opportunity. Our records show that, unlike many investors, you have demonstrated a willingness to expose your capital to some risk in return for the chance to make a substantial sum of money in a short period of time. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Sato, such a chance exists now, and if you will call me back at 1-800-555-5555 during business hours tomorrow, I'll be happy to give you the details. Number 95 who are the Satos in relation to Explorer Financial Services? Number 96. What probably describes the investment Robert Fripp wants to discuss? Number 97. When should the Satos contact Robert Fripp? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a business presentation. The chart at the bottom of page 51 breaks down our personnel expenses. The red area represents total salaries and bonuses paid. As you can see, that accounts for just over half of personnel costs. The blue area represents in-house training costs as well as college tuition subsidies paid out under the Learn While You Earn program. Please note that salaries for in-house trainers have not been counted as training costs, as they are already included in the salaries and bonuses category. Next, the green area represents payroll taxes, and the yellow represents payments into employee medical and dental insurance programs. You may notice that this year, for the first time in company history, the amount being spent on medical and dental insurance programs exceeds that spent on employee training. Number 98. What is the largest personnel-related expense this year? Number 99. What does the Learn While You Earn program involve?
Number 100. Which area represents payroll taxes? This is the end of the listening part of the test. Turn to Part 5 in your test book.